Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. Has NASCAR committed suicide? Yep, let's talk about that. Today's episode is brought to you by ShallNotComply.com, apparel for Patriots, by Patriots, all sorts of new stuff in stock, including the brand new Boogaloo Bound 4x4 and what I wore yesterday in Navy, the new 1791 Classic and the Ear Pro Wraps in the favorite color of you guys, the 80s were rad. Also in stock, lots of new stuff. You can find it all over at ShallNotComply.com and you know where the link is. Hey, a big thanks for all those thumbs up yesterday. Had a lot of fun last night and today. Just having conversations with you guys. Y'all know that. It is important to me for all of us to stay on top of things and to watch what's going on. I appreciate all the encouragement. It's all good. Now, today I want to talk to you a little bit about NASCAR. But I want to say really clearly, even if you're not a NASCAR fan, this matters. It applies to us. It applies to our freedoms. It applies to me as well. I'm not a NASCAR fan. I've been to a few races. You can almost see Bristol out this window right here. But it does have applications for all of us. So stay with me. And I think some of the points I make towards the end might get you thinking. I think it does need to be on your radar. But I do want to hear your opinions on all of this. So last August and September, NASCAR made some announcements and they bowed their heads to the current pressures and they decided, NASCAR decided, they would have no more advertisements by manufacturers of assault style weapons. Y'all remember that it was in the news, we talked about it a little bit, it's a mess. And then just over the last week, NASCAR has now said they will have no Confederate flags at their events. And I'm not talking about like official stuff. They're not selling the merchandise or on the official cars or anywhere on the tracks. I'm talking about fans. Fans can no longer wear their Dukes of Hazard t-shirts to the stadiums or to the race tracks. And so now all Confederate flags, the piece of fabric, it is colors on a piece of fabric, are now banned from NASCAR events. Drama Llama, go! Woo! All right, so Confederate flags are now gone from all NASCAR events. It's a mess. People have opinions on it. I have opinions on it as well. Like, it's a mixed bag. Like, I was in Atlanta over the weekend, and I drove by a BLM. People are out protesting peacefully, and I'm, I'm fine with that. First Amendment, the right to peacefully assemble, that's fine. And there was one dude beside them holding a Confederate flag, and he did not look to be the smartest bulb in the drawer. But he's out there with those guys, whatever. I mentioned Dukes of Hazard a few minutes ago, and I follow John Schneider's. I'm, I follow his YouTube channel, and he has a really, really nice General Lee. I know that people have different thoughts, and it is a mess. However, will those people ever be satisfied? Well, no, of course not. Just this week, NBC New York is going after NASCAR even further. Their words were, even after NASCAR has pulled all Confederate flags from their events, both individuals as well as corporate sponsorship, that NASCAR is still, quote, linked to a company that is profiting from Confederate flag sales. They're never going to be satisfied. Now, who's that company that is linked to Confederate flag sales? Well, it's gunbroker.com. It's just like eBay. Individuals get on there, there and they sell stuff. Now, there are individuals on there that do sell Confederate merchandise as well as KKK flags and patches. Now, we call those people morons. But my point is this, will they ever be satisfied? The answer is absolutely not. Now, the sponsor of this that NBC New York is getting upset with, and it's kind of gotten picked up in the mainstream media, is gunbroker.com. Now, gunbroker.com is sponsoring the number one, the number 51 car in the NASCAR i-Series. I've never even heard of NASCAR i-Series. Looked it up today. It's digital. It's like a video game. It's like fantasy digital racing. It's not real. It's all in the computer. It's not real, but they are sponsoring a car and getting their logo onto people's screens. It is such a low level part of the NASCAR universe that they have typos on their main website. They have such a low budget, they don't even have, have people that are copy uh, proofing that stuff. So there's typos in there. It's a bunch of nonsense. Now in the real world, Gunbroker.com is also sponsoring the number 51 car in the real world for the upcoming Brick Brickyard. So it's a mess. People are talking about it. 
and I think it is worth paying attention. So last September, they canceled all sales or all advertisement by those who sell assault style weapons. And then now the Confederate flags are absolutely gone. Again, it's not a black and white issue. Now, this week we've been talking a little bit about, just hit water cooler talk, a little bit about Disney canceling the, you know what, Rudy Tootie point and shooty in Elmer Fudd's hands. And somebody asked me if I was upset about that. I said, no, I think it's lame. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. NASCAR's roots are literally in moonshine running and bootlegging and all the things that make America great. And yeah, it does tend to be a little bit lower on the socioeconomic scales. It is a bunch of beer drinking, semi-toothless rednecks. And that's part of the culture of NASCAR. But you can't get above your learning. You can't get above your raisin. And I think NASCAR, and you've heard it here, I think they have committed suicide. Not over the Confederate flag. It's not, oh, Johnny's mad about the Confederate flag. My point is they have forgotten their roots. Let me go through a couple points here. I want to hear what you have to say. NASCAR, they do have these roots. And I talked to somebody just today and they said, NASCAR's forgotten who they are. It's people eating, eating fried chicken off of chicken, off of chicken bones down in the chicken bone sections at these racetracks. Now, over the last few years, ESPN is slowly coming in for a landing. Just this week, they, we found out that ESPN has 41-year low ratings going on right now. 41 years. Now, part of that is the, <clears throat> and there's not a lot of sports, but it has turned into, ESPN has turned into 24 hours a day of woke and social, me, uh, social justice warriorship. That's what they're covering now. They are not covering where their roots were. That's my point with NASCAR as well. They are straying from their roots. ESPN is as well. Now, it's important. This is what we watch. This is, this is, it drives a lot of different industries. And as ESPN, we'll maybe talk about that a different day. ESPN is cable television. As they've come in for a landing, that's why Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and all these things have taken off. And it is affecting how media is done and what people are watching. ESPN, keep an eye on them. I gave them up probably four or five years ago. I used to do three to five hours a day of ESPN radio while I was at work work time as well as sports center in the evening. I'd watch sports center two and three times. Y'all did as well. I was done during deflate gate, during the Brett Favre situation and a couple other things. They lost me. I have not turned them on in years, but I'm watching all of that. We're at a point now where people are being bullied and businesses are being forced by the media and as well as people in social media being forced to take a stand that they may or may not want to take a stand on. We saw what happened with Starbucks just last week, absolutely a complete mess. But we had this whole idea of cancel culture and I think businesses are afraid of being canceled. It affects us here in the freedom universe as well. Now, we have what's coming up here at Bristol, the night race. It's a big deal, it's usually in, in August, it's gonna be in September this year. It's called the Bass Pro Shops Night Race. And it's sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and the NRA. This is interesting. Where's the NRA gonna be in all of this? They're probably less pro-gun than anybody else. And they're probably agreeing with the entire thing because they're also morons, quote me on that. But ticket sales are super, super low in NASCAR right now. You can't give away the Bristol tickets right now. You cannot give those things away. And I think that matters. Yet in this time, they're turning away from the foundation of who their followers are. And so I'm going to be continuing to watch this. It reminds me of Dick's Sporting Goods and what has happened to them in the last year and a half. They have closed stores nationally because they turn their back on their foundation. They turn their back on their customers. They have forgotten who their base is because I think middle America is doing just fine. Even despite <coughs> situations, I think a middle America is doing just fine. We are strong. Y'all get upset in the comment section whenever I say that. People all the time, just, just this morning, people were typing, hey, America's done. Give up on America. We are all done. Well, I disagree with that. I think the Republic is strong and I think middle America is strong and I think we need to watch this just because you see it on TV, just because you see people with microphones and the, the cameras and they have the mainstream media in their back pocket doesn't mean that's what the average person believes. I think for every person that's throwing rocks in the street, there's 10,000 of us that still believe in what we were founded on. That's what I think. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. They're chipping away at our freedoms, but... We're still here to protect ourselves. This is all I got once again today. Type away on that one. Y'all been upset about this situation right here. 
it's, it's, an, it's a deal, but everything's okay, trust me. But this one, the right to protect ourselves and the Second Amendment from my cold, dead hands. Bye. <laughs>